Hello, and welcome to WWE 2K24, my GM mode first run. As you can see, I have set up to be Theodore Long on SmackDown. We are against Paul Heyman's ECW, Eric Bischoff's WCW, and William Regal's Monday Night Raw. We're going to play on normal just because there are some new features, and I want to see them all before I start. And then we're going to do a custom draft pool. There's not a lot customized about it. I just added a couple legends that for whatever reason weren't already available in the legends pool. Well, they call it contract pool now, but free agent pool, whatever you want to call it. Um, and also, I didn't add any like Hollywood Hogan and Hulk Hogan's, except because they're so drastically different. I did leave Stardust active as well as regular Cody, current Cody. Um, because I pre-ordered, I did get the Nightmare Family stuff. Um, that's the only one. Uh, like, And there's no custom wrestlers or anything yet. Uh, we are going to play, play on normal with max money, just so I can get used to some... There are some new features, uh, including this one. Match unlocks. The new default is... Start with a few types unlocked. Additional match types will become available by improving your brand over time via logistics and the choices you make. Each brand will be unique in that they will only have access to the matches they have unlocked. All match types may be unlocked by all brands over time, or the classic is everything. I'm going to try the new one, and we're going to start the draft. Uh, as some of you that may catch this from previous years may know, I have a history of posting multiple videos a week for WWE. That very well may still happen, but I do have school, work, and a lot of and some per other personal life stuff going on. So I'm only going to commit to saying this is a once a week series. If I do get a chance to do some good batch recordings and have some in the can able to put out more often, I probably will. Uh, but for now, we'll call it uh, once a week just to be safe. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do more than one season of this first initial one because I do want to add some custom guys and. You know, add some of the, you know, in this one, I kept all the basic like Rhea Ripley current, Bianca Belair current, Sheamus current, but they do have, you know, older attires. I also haven't played through and unlocked all the versions of all the other legends or current or current wrestlers in their past gimmicks and time periods that I may play around with. So we'll see how long this one goes. It'll definitely go at least one full season, probably two, depending on how we go. Uh, so. We have to do nine rounds of drafting. Yes, I understand. I forgot to turn that off. This part I do understand. Now, this is just going to be a draft today. Sometimes I will do, maybe even in future versions of this series, I may do uh, faster ones, uh, like faster drafts where I draft quick enough to do the first week show. With the new features, I'm going to be very carefully looking at what I'm doing this first time. Also, apparently, Charlotte Flair is a giant now. That is interesting. I mean, she is, you know, 100 and... Pro I don't know her weight, but probably looking at the height and build of her, like 185 pounds and 6 feet tall, which for a woman is quite big. So, I don't think it makes no sense, but it is interesting to see the change. So, first pick. Uh, I put him, moved him from contract slash legends, whatever you want to call it, in here to pick him. So we're picking him. One of my favorite wrestlers that never got the chances I think he should have got, Wade Barrett. Yes, I understand. Shut up. Roman Reigns, ironically, ironically going to ECW with Heyman. Seth Rollins to WCW. Becky Lynch. Round two. So. I do want to make sure I have someone to go with Wade Barrett. So what we're going to do. Is go by type. And we want a bruiser to fight him because he's a fighter. Uh, well. Babyface Bray Wyatt. 
He has three or four other versions in the game, including the Fiend, but they're all separate, and you have to unlock them for their different things. So I'm just using the default one that they give you. Babyface Bruiser. First couple picks I don't mind spending some money on. I love Bray Wyatt anyway. Rest in peace, Bray. We're going Bray Wyatt. I was probably going to pick him if he came up anyway, but when he came up and perfectly lines up with Wade Barrett, as a main event match why not so now what I'm gonna do is those two don't have super high stamina well first what I'm gonna do is pick a cruiserweight match or a cruiser and a giant and I think we're gonna go women for that one so, let's go women. Top cruiser is Alexa Bliss, but again, stamina is a little low. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go highest stamina first. See what we got. Not the greatest popularity, but she does have good stamina. She's not crazy expensive by either this game's standards. Or couple points lower but around the same popularity and a baby face let's see what we have for giants first giant to come to is a heel let's see what else Raquel is a baby face but has low stamina so it's looking like it's going to be Piper Niven so there's a couple of babyface cruisers. There's only one heel giant. So let's take Piper Niven first. ECW's taking our truth this round. Nikki Cross for WCW. Otis for Raw. Good choices. So now I need a babyface cruiser. Liv Morgan is significantly more popular, but also significantly more expensive. But 207,000 is still not terrible. So I think we'll do that. Because that is going to be our main women's feud. So 50 plus popularity is ideal. EO Sky gets picked up. The Miz gets picked up. There goes Jimmy Uso. Now, I've got a face and a heel, man and woman singles feud each. So. I need a, I need a men's. Wow, champ, stack, geez, stacks is quite popular. Uh, I need a men's cruiser and giant pair anyway. So I'm thinking what I might do is go stacks and Ivar if he doesn't get picked. Carmelo's still a baby face in this one, so that gives me options there. Dom is a heel if I want to go heel babyface giant with Josh Briggs, which I very well might do. Matter of fact, that'll probably be my tag team title feud. But let's pick up stacks and see who else gets picked. Randy Orton. Karrion Cross, Braun Strowman. All right. So I want to make sure just in case I need don't get the tag teams that I want. We'll pick him first, because then we at least have a mid-card title feud. Maybe that's the world title feud. Who knows? May not use him in the exact same order that I picked him in. Also, some people have in, in this game now have new abilities. I'm going to to see Jinder Mahal getting picked up. <clears throat> in this game, there are new ability things attached to them in GM mode, some of which are they can change class with a new promo type. So, who knows? That may even change further. For the moment, though, I think I remember it working the best if it was two cruisers and two giants, but that may also... There's a lot more factors in this one. And I just really want Dominic Mysterio, so I'm picking Dominic. <laughs> because I just... he He's fantastic. Stardust getting picked up. I just realized it... Is Cody... Ro oh, he might not be in the draft pool. Let's say the actual Cody Rhodes not get picked up. Uncle Howdy. Love to see it. 
Um, yeah, he might just not. He, I assume he must not be in the. There's no way they wouldn't have picked him by now. Yeah, he's definitely not. Uh, so what do we got now? We got a million seven left. Yeah, three faces, four heels, five men, two women. But I do need to even the men out before I go back to the women. I just took a heel bruiser or a heel cruiser, not bruiser. I should take a baby face giant. He's cheap. He's got good stamina. We're going Josh Briggs. Let's Julius Creed. Maurice getting picked up. Carmella. So what do we have right now? We have three cruisers, three giants. Because we have the two women. So let's go back to the ladies. And let's get a fighter bruiser pair. And I think how I'm going to do that. It's probably... Apparently Shayna Baszler's a baby face. I didn't change anything, so that's interesting. Um, You're a heel bruiser, but you don't have very much... You don't have as much stamina as I would like. So... Let's go baby face bruiser and heel fighter. We'll take Cora Jade first. If they take Shayna, then I'll just hire someone. Tiffany Stratton gets picked up. Nikita Lyons. Shayna did get picked. All right, that's fine. Yes, I know about optional drafting. Thank you. So I could still pick a baby face bruiser. Could also go baby face specialist and pick Blair Davenport. Or, well, she's a heel. Learn how to read. Indy Hartwell would work, though. <laughs> or we could leave part put a pause on that for now and go for some other stuff i'm gonna pick tegan knox i think although what do we have we have three women should pick someone just in case I don't want to spend the money after. So let's go Indy Hartwell because she's baby face to go against the heel that we picked and specialist. So she can go with anybody. And has good stamina. Tony D'Angelo. Alright, so six men, four women. Right now we have our men's tag feud or a two sing three singles feuds, but probably our met tag feud. We should probably look at the Intercontinental title or men's title, whatever it happens to be. I think it, I think it's Intercontinental on, on SmackDown now. Uh, that being said, because our main feud is babyface, bruiser, heel, fighter, perhaps we should do the same again. In that case. It's probably going to be Logan Paul. But is there a decent baby face bruiser? Yes, there's a couple. Ooh, what if we did Bray Wyatt and Uncle Howdy as a tag team, actually? That would be fun, wouldn't it? Let's do that. I was going to put them as the world title, but that's just too much imaginary pretend like we have storylines going fun now logan paul did get picked up though so i need a new heel fighter I was say, uncle howdy was also a bruiser right yes okay we need a heel fighter or heel specialist could also work i think it's going to be specialist would be based on this list so let's take maybe Damon Kemp because he's pretty cheap and fits the bill we want and has lots of stamina. Yeah, maybe. Or do I go Ludwig Kaiser just because I like him? Um, 
Let's go Damon Kemp because he's cheaper. Ludwig Kaiser immediately gets picked up. Brutus Creed. Joaquin Wild, the only guy in the game under nine, under 100,000 that I'm aware of. All right, so what do we have right now? We need two more women, is what I'm seeing. We need to make a tag team feud. So, what if we did... We have heel fighter woman and a face specialist. What if we did... Hmm. Let's do... Tegan Knox, I think. Yeah, maybe. Specialist in a fighter and then take Valhalla, maybe, if she doesn't get picked up. That's probably our best play, I think. We face specialist and face fighter against heel fighter and heel bruiser, which is fine. Oh, they're done. So let's take Valhalla, I think. Less worried about stamina for these guys this time at this stage, but about they're the same price anyway. She's more popular and has a little bit more stamina. No reason not to pick her over Isla Dawn, so let's do that. They're done. They're done. We still have a decent amount of money. We have an even roster of faces and heels. I mean, technically, we have two more men than women, but... We have even numbers of men and women, eight and six. Two specialists to mix in with 12 of the other ones. I think we're good. Yes. Also, ECW, even though WCW for some reason does, ECW, I guess because they never had a women's title, even a half-assed one, does not have, get women's titles but their men's titles are more valuable popularity-wise and stuff because of it. So that's kind of neat and different. Night's the night. Long, how's it going? Just wanted to wish you luck for the, uh, for the coming season. We're looking forward to it over at ECW. Yeah, huh? Uh-huh. So, we can select our all champions now from this menu, including the tag. So, what do we want to do for the way, for the top title? I think we're going to go Wade Barrett. I think for the men's. Well, I was thinking of putting Bray and Uncle Howdy together, though. So, what if instead we go Ivar for the men's tag? We'll go Bray. We'll go Uncle Howdy and Bray Wyatt. And for the men's mid card. We'll go Damon Kemp. Lovely. And for the women's, <laughs> we will go Liv Morgan. 
On this side, we'll probably we'll do the heels. Keep it balanced. Boom. Got our champions picked. Happy with that. There we go. Get through all this crap. Special promotion. Well, thank you. So, we don't have anything special there. Have your most popular available male and heel and face face each other, which I think we will. Uh, yeah, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just getting through this now so we don't have to worry about it in the next episode. Uh, so let's take a look. Oh, yeah. So our starting power cards, same as SmackDown had before. Six random superstars. Just a minute play of. Uh, can't be played the week on for WrestleMania week. But otherwise, remove all match bonuses and quality boosts, plus that match XP gain. Uh, to very low for all opposing brands next week. Uh, which is kind of neat because they, you actually like level up characters and stuff now. Um, so I'm not going to book this show, but I am going to do the prep for it because it does auto. It will save when I leave, I think. Or at least we'll look around a bit. So talent scouts is a new thing. So as far as I can tell, how this works is you get a starting sort of base usually of jobbers. Then you can switch it to established stars. And search. That's when you get your Ivy Niles and your lower level. Or you just get medical bill. But yeah, and then you can add, depending what you pick, you have five talents, scouts a week. I will assume it's a week. Uh, and depending what you pick, you can, it'll cost you more to search for them and more money. You can also specify genders, roles, classes, promo skill, etc. Uh, we don't need any of that for this first show. The, uh, the, uh, Upgrades have changed again. Logistics. As far as I can tell, you can pretty much buy anything, whatever you want. Except instead of just needing money, you also need assets. You get one asset per show from what I've seen. In previews from the channels that got even earlier copies than me. And as you level this stuff up, it unlocks more matches. Or match types. And then we have our standard. This is why I picked at least normal, so that we'd still have the full-size card. So, if we were to book a show right now, and just to get rid of this... Right now we have the options for... And it tells you which things you need and what tier to unlock them, which is cool. Right now we have normal tables, extreme rules, TLC. We have the same for back here. You can also have ta tag team backstage brawls now, which is pretty dope. And three-way and four-ways. Also excellent. Uh, Steel Cage is now the one that gives you uh, fan bonuses and resolve resolving rivalries. Which is honestly really good because you can do that as up to four people. It used to be Submission, which is only a singles match. They switched those, which I like. Uh, here... You can do a run-in, GM interference, same things there. Uh, so, there's some new promo types. We have self-promo still. We have call-out still. Role change, which we've switched babyface to heel or vice versa, which we had before. Advertising if you're desperate for money. Uh, charity is still there. Class change. Now... This is one of the things I was talking about before. Let's look at our roster. And let's say... Bray Wyatt. Yeah, I know. 
Shut up. Last man standing special. See, he can. He has the giant bonus class. So I can use that new promo type on him if I want to switch him to a giant. Which, the way I build my cards is lovely because it means I could potentially switch him to a giant. But that's what the class change does. If they have one of those bonus class perks, it will let you switch them to the other one. And then we have what I, is, I think is up next and is my absolute favorite addition to 2K24 without even hardly looking at the game. Well, no, it wasn't the one I thought it was. Training increases their ring XP. Uh, as you may have seen some numbers next to their names now, they have level ups. We saw that in the search menu. I believe this next one is my new favorite. Tag Team Callout is finally a thing. Three years into new GM mode, it's worth the wait. I will take it. Thank you very much. Uh, so that's all the major new stuff to know. And we will uh, be going into our first full event next time. Until then, thanks for watching. Give a like, subscribe, comment for the algorithm. Peace out.